Hi there, I uh, just got finished making my first Hello World iPhone app using Mono Develop and Mono Touch, and I wanted to make a quick video to show it how it works because I think it's pretty cool. So let's get started. I'll start a new solution, and now in Mono Develop, you'll see that there's a iPhone Mono Touch project and an empty one. We're going to go with the not empty one just because it's a bit easier to do the Hello World from here. So uh, I'm going to make it called New World because I've been doing this a few times and I have a couple other projects already named things that I can't overwrite. So when you create your new app, you'll see right away that there's a few different files it makes for you. If you're an OSX developer already, you're probably familiar with the, the XIB file. Um, that's going to help us design our interface using inter Interface Builder. Um, our main.cs file uh, contains our, our entry uh, ma main method as well as a partial class definition for our app delegate. Now the other part of that app delegate definition is in this designer class however you don't need to touch that because uh, Mono develop whenever you change the uh, XIB file with interface builder is going to automatically update this file for you. In fact you shouldn't update it because you'll lose any changes that you try to make to it. So if we open up the file here, uh, Interface Builder comes up, and you'll see we just have a blank window to start with. Um, very, very basic thing. Uh, I need to show the library though so I can add some controls to it. And I'm going to simply for now, for this example, add a label and a button. And you can close that. The button, actually let's name it tap me, because that makes a little bit more sense, although perhaps a little innuendo. Um, the label will just set to tap zero. We've got a button, we've got a label. Okay, we're good. Now the one thing we do have to do is set up our outlets and connections to them so that MonoDevelop knows uh, what uh, uh, outlets are there for us to use. So we don't have any outlets for the button or label right now, so I'm going to make one label tap and button tap. Uh, now that we have those, we actually have to wire them up to the, the objects on our screen here. So the button tap simply connects to that, and the label went to that. Finally, save your interface builder project. You can close it at this point, and all of a sudden you'll see that magically MonoDevelop has updated our partial class definition here. So we've got our label tap, our button tap, and then our window uh, references. Now we can go back to our main method, and this is where we're going to do the actual coding. Um, before I put anything there, I'm going to make an integer variable just to keep track of the number of times that someone has tapped the button. So in our finished launching, I'm just going to wire up the touchdown event of the button. So if I go button tap, touchdown, and, and these are kind of events based on um, the different actions for a, a button in the Apple's framework. I'm just going to add a delegate to it and put my code right in here. The goal of this is just to update the text of a label with the number of taps. So that should do it. It's pretty simple code. Um, not much to it. And now we're ready to run already. So if I go to the Run menu, um, MonoDevelop integrates with the uh, iPhone simulator, which I've already got open over here. And it's compiling it to uh, native code so that this will run on the iPhone. And here is our interface. Now every time I tap the button, nothing is happening. And that's because we didn't increment our taps simple oversight. So save this again, gonna run it again, it's gonna recompile. Here's our new world app, it's gonna launch shortly. And there we go, and now our taps increase as we hit the button. So it's a pretty simple app, but it kinda shows you how easy it is to design iPhone applications using MonoTouch and MonoDevelop. Um, again, it's compiled uh, down to native code, so that means you don't have to jailbreak your iPhone. That um, This will be perfectly acceptable to be put on the App Store, so you can use it for commercial development. Um, it will be a commercial product, 
Right now it's in beta testing stages and it's looking pretty good so far. So I have really high hopes for this. It's quite an interesting project and I hope you found it kind of interesting too.